Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, a pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi, and I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. Today, we are jumping to conclusions, and sometimes we do that very easily. We jump to conclusions about people. We jump to conclusions about things. And when we jump to conclusions, we bypass the truth sometimes or make a decision based on partial truth on just what we see at the moment, not knowing all of the facts that are surrounding something. This is a situation that happened uh, over and over and over again, and it happened during biblical times. As a matter of fact, James chapter 1 and verse 19 addresses this specific issue, so we know that it happened years ago. Several years ago, I met a man, and we became friends, and over the course of the conversation one day, I said to him, I noticed that you are a very attentive and observant man. You don't talk a lot. He said, well, the Lord gave me two ears and one mouth, so I think I should listen twice as much as I should talk. And I learned a lot of wisdom from him on that day. I noticed today that we uh, photo crop the truth. When you look at the media, when you look at social media, when you look at all of these things, people will take a freeze frame, so to speak, or they will freeze a moment in something or edit a video to make the truth appear to be different than it is. And the point behind doing all of that is to get you and me to jump to conclusions about what is being done or what is actually taking place. And they do that by leaving out the truth. I want to encourage you today to not leave out the truth, but I also want to encourage you today, as you not leave out the truth, to be slow and listen and attentive and learn what the truth is. In James chapter 1 and verse 19, James said this to his congregation, So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Verse 20 says, For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. James outlined three qualities that we need today, basically in trials. And when we see all that we're experiencing, we're seeing trials. He said the first quality is that we should be quick to listen, that we should be uh, very, very quick to hear. In other words, listen and not just talk. Sometimes we need to listen so that we can learn what is actually being intended. When we learn the intent behind something, sometimes it'll take uh, it'll change the outcome of what the way we understand it or the way that we thought we understood it. And so that is a very good quality. We need to listen to what is being said. But he also said this, be slow to speak. Sometimes when we hear something or see something and we see that it may be has been photo cropped or freeze frame. In other words, we're getting partial truth. We immediately jump to conclusions. And when we jump to conclusions about something, we begin to respond verbally. Verbal, uh, verbally responding to something can cause unnecessary pain and harm. Verbal abuse and words can cause uh, harm to relationships and friendships and own uh, of all different types. And so we should be very careful about how we speak out and what we say when it comes to dealing with things that we're not quite familiar with. If you don't know the truth about something, the whole truth, then please slow, be slow to respond if you respond at all. But he also said this, he said in this, be slow to wrath. Now, I want you to notice the progression here. If we do not listen and we do a lot of speaking, then we will become angry very quickly. He says, "Allow, do not allow your anger to happen quickly. Be slow to anger. In other words, if we stop and assess the situation, if we stop and think about where we are, if we stop and think about what's going on, if we look at something and ask ourselves, what is the real meaning behind this? What is the intent of this? Then perhaps it'll change the way we view the world and also the way the world views us. Today, my friends, I want to tell you to be slow to speak, but be very quick to hear and slow to anger. Friends, please know this today, that the Lord Jesus loves you and I love you too. Please pray with me. Father, help us to know the whole truth, the truth that liberates, the truth that sets us free. 
and help us to be slow to respond so that we do not fall into the category of, of jumping to conclusions as many people do today. We know that it is a very present danger in our lives, and we ask you to protect us from doing that. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, my friends, until we meet again.